What is going on guys? Little Dog Dog here and today I'm bringing you a brand new quest guide for the brand new Easter event, Gilded Extravaganza. Now, I felt that this quest was pretty entertaining. It did help to actually have my sound on as I was doing the quest for some, some humor. Um, and I feel they did a alright job with this Easter event. It's not the best holiday event I've ever played in my life, but it's better than the not event we got last year. Uh, let me know how you feel about this one down in the comments below once we're done. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get into the quest. Alright, as to what you're going to need to actually complete this quest, it seems like a lot for a holiday event. I felt the same way. Um, but it's, it's worth it for the enjoyment of a holiday event. So you're going to need, as you see on screen, one pot, one bucket, an uncooked red berry pie, an uncooked meat pie, and an uncooked apple pie. You don't have to have the cooking level to cook those, so don't worry about it. You're going to need a gold ore and a copper ore, a cake tin, a pie shell, and an egg. Um, and you're going to lose all that stuff throughout the quest, so it sucks. And to start the quest, you're going to want to go to the Lumbridge Crater and talk to the Easter Bunny located on the holiday symbol. So to start, you're going to talk to the Easter Bunny, as I said, and he's going to be like, oh, what's up? It's Easter. No spring fair this year. Hope you're cool with that. We're doing this instead. Um, and essentially, he tells you that they brought out, brought out multiple crafting guilds from around Gilinor um, to celebrate Easter. You're going to want to choose the first chat option to talk about the Gilded Extravaganza. Look at what you're going to need. Bit daunting and then accept the quest. Now I had no idea what I needed going into this. I was blind so I had to run to uh, the Grand Exchange, pick everything up, forget some stuff, go back pick everything up again once I got back and then actually do the quest. Um, but ignore that, just hit accept, click through, uh, click through the dialogue. I can't remember what it was at this point. I was paying attention. I enjoy the dialogue. Um, Essentially, he's just telling you what you're going to have to do to complete the quest. So the first thing I did was go and talk to the crafting guild, because they were in my immediate eyesight, and it doesn't matter what order you do it. So talk to the crafting guild assistant, or apprentice. And the apprentice is going to give you some sob story about how they're a crafting apprentice, but they hurt their hands in some incident and can't use them. So you got to do everything. It's a good clause for, you know, why you're doing all their work. Um, apparently their sob story gets it because your character has a single tear run down their cheek after the sob story here. Maybe you're just a better crafter and they don't want to admit it. And then you're going to want to choose the second chat option, yes, I'll help. follow that up with the third chat option I can do them over easy I don't think it really matters what option you pick here that's just the option I picked because I didn't know what else to pick and this is when the crafting guild apprentice tells you that you're gonna be doing an egg so choose the second chat option let's do it and they're gonna tell you that they need some gold and some salt so I realized at this point that I forgot to get my gold, as you can see. So we're going to do a little jump cut here. Um, after after the dialogue, you, you probably won't even notice that I had to just, that I just all of a sudden have gold in my inventory and copper, because I completely forgot that. And the Crafting Guild Apprentice is essentially telling you that you need 15,000 gold, but they have 14,999. You only need to go get one as well as the salt. So, uh, once I have that stuff in my inventory, you, you wouldn't even notice, you're going to want to go to the crafting guild just to the east, and just click on the salt barrel to get a pot of salt. Once you've got the pot of salt, you're going to want to turn return to the crafting apprentice. And the crafting apprentice is going to tell you um, now you need to use the furnace to make the base out of that salt and gold. So the furnace is right there, it's the big thing. Use the crafting guild furnace. And what I had to do was heat the gold twice. The first time I only heated it once and then said that was enough, it wasn't enough. So I did it two times in a row after that and then that was correct. So you choose heat the, the heat option twice and then finish and that should be it. If not, you may need to do it three times. 
Sorry, guys. I was really winging it in the first time through here. Crafting Guild Apprentices is more beautiful than they ever could have imagined. Yeah, that's because you actually suck and we need to do your job. And now she tells you that you need to get some vinegar to oxidize your copper for some green coloration. So that's at the cooking guild as well. Just use the bucket of vinegar or the barrel of vinegar and you'll fill the bucket up in your inventory that you should have if you listened to me at the beginning of the video. Uh, return to the apprentice and they're going to oxidize your copper for you. You got a, a green bar in your inventory now. No, not yet. I jumped the gun on that one a bit. There it is. The, the, she said, there you go. Okay, I thought that thought we were thought we were on top of our game here. Uh, but after she tells you what to do, which seems very complicated, you're going to need to go over to the workbench in the crafting guild um, and just use it. Your character will run through everything that you need to actually do with the glass and um, the sand and everything to color uh, color the egg. After you do all that, you'll have the ornate egg in your inventory. Go back to the apprentice. And you're almost done, but you need to put some gems on the egg. It's got to be like a Fabergé egg, right? So use the bag of flawless gems on the egg. You'll have a gilded imperial egg in your inventory. Talk to the apprentice. And that will be the crafting guild portion of the... Easter quest complete. Now with that done, we're going to head to the crafting guild, or the cooking guild, I apologize, cooking guild next. And we're going to make a cake of pies. So talk to the cooking guild apprentice, and they're going to tell you their excellent idea. See what I did there? E excellent. <laughs> oh, oh. Sorry guys, just trying to Try to, to try to lighten the mood a little bit. Um, so the, the Cooking Guild Apprentice essentially says that they have this great idea uh, to make a cake of pies. So with those pies in your inventory, um, you're just going to need to go over to the nearby range, the Cooking Guild range, and choo choose the first head option, yes, make the cake of pies. Once, you, once you've got it made, you're just going to go back to the Apprentice, and uh, he's going to be like, this is great. The journeyman's going to be like, this is not great. This is appalling. What's wrong with you? This is why your mother didn't love you. Uh, he'll come up with a different idea that since they have this barrel or crate of exquisite lemons, maybe make a lemon pie, um, which seems like a great idea in hindsight. you know. So once you're done talking to the Cooking Guild Apprentice, you're just going to want to choose the third chat option to end the, end the chat dialogue and then take a lemon from the crate. Uh, use that lemon on the pie shell in your inventory and it'll combine with the egg and then use that on the range to cook the pie. Take that back to the apprentice, choose the first chat option, and that will complete the cooking guild portion of the Easter quest. Easy enough. Now the next thing you're going to have to do is head over to the fishing guild. Now I didn't know where they were, so I ran the wrong way here. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit so we get there at the same time. Um, but once you get there, you're going to want to talk to the fishing guild apprentice. Now this is the portion where you're going to want to have your audio on just for uh, the sound of it. Because they really did a good job with this portion. Um, they tell you that you're going to stuff a tuna inside of a shark inside of a swordfish, which just sounds beautiful, um, for lack of a better word. And while your character has ethical problems uh, coming to terms with it, um, it's, there's really no better option than putting a tuna inside of a shark inside of a swordfish. So um, it's been banned because of the Poder Tuckin incident. So you need to, you know, figure out how to get it on band. Fishing Guild Apprentices, maybe go talk to Ames the, the Courier, who's over by the Crafting Guild. So we're going to head over back to the Crafting Guild, because this is not personal. we got to get this on band. Stuffing food inside of food inside of food, there's nothing wrong with that. It's discrimination. So we need to get this figured out. So talk to Ames the Courier. Um... 
And he essentially says that, well, I think it's a bad idea. Uh, we can probably get it unbanned for Easter if you do something for me, wink wink, if you get my drift. So, Ames, being the pervert that he is, wants you to get flowers for his mother. Can you believe that? The gall of some people. Um, anyways, apparently the Lumber General Store sells flowers. I never knew. Um, probably because you have to talk to the shopkeep, and, and nobody cares about them, so they just right-click on them and select trade. But the Lumber General Store, we all know where it's at. We all know the fastest way to get there. Uh, you just have to go north, like I did here, because I'm stupid. Um, and once you realize your mistake, it's too late if you're recording. There's no going back. You just got to embrace it. So I went north. I got to own it. And this is that. So that's what's happening. But once you get to the general store, um, you actually actually talk to the shopkeep, uh, not just trade them. Give them some time a day. I know we don't do it. Nobody does it. But you're going to want to choose the first gen option to ask about the flowers for Easter. He says that, no, we don't sell bouquets. We sell buckets of flowers. It's good enough. So choose the first gen option. Yes, that's 10 coins. I didn't put it in the needed because it's 10 coins. If you don't have 10 coins, stop playing the game. Um, that's just, like, kill a goblin or something. It's, it's not even hard to make 10 coins. Um, but you're going to want to take that bucket of flowers back to Ames and uh, talk to him obviously once you get back there and click through his dialogue because at this point there's there's been quite a lot of dialogue you probably have only read half of it if you have just because there's so much in little sections um, it's like the beginning of a Pokemon game here and then once you've clicked through all the dialogue he gets you your little letter that apparently he just had on him because he never left that spot he would have had to walk by us. So we never saw him. Um, having a temporary ban lifted from stuffing food inside of food inside of food. Um, but once you're back over here, you're going to want to talk to the Fishing Guild Apprentice. And this is the portion with with necessary sound. And, and what I'll do for you here is I'll just shut up so you can enjoy it in all of its glory. Please have your have your sound turned up all the way. That's yeah, pretty great, huh? Pretty, pretty, pretty great. I got a, they got, they got a chuckle out of me. I'll give them that. Anyways, that's it. Uh, once you're done with all that, you're gonna want to go back to the Easter Bunny, because man, oh man, we're not done yet. So talk to the Easter Bunny. Uh, you can hand in some of the currency you've obtained for the other portion of the Easter event. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory because it's like every other gathering event that's ever happened in this game for the past four years. Um, but you're going to talk about the Gilded Extravaganza. Uh, that's the first chat option once again, and that's the quest you've been doing for the past 14 minutes. At this portion, uh, the Easter Bunny is going to decide who the winner is of the special prize. Um, but because he's kind of a, a pushover, he doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. So it's up to you in the end to decide who the actual winner is. Now if you're a pushover, there's a pushover option for you. Um, that pu option number four, everyone is a winner. Um, pick somebody. I like the stuff fish inside of fish inside of fish option. So the fishing guild won for me. It doesn't really matter. There's no prize that they get. In fact, you get the prize because the prize starts to move and they decide they don't want it. And that ends up being the Easter award for this year, which is a odd egg pet. So once you're done with all this dialogue, that is going to be quest complete. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to join the French chat at LittleDogDog15. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Twitch at the bottom there, and check out some of my other videos. They're really, really good, if I do say so myself. Love ya. Catch you next time.